astronomers are at risk and I will tell why. Recently I saw in one of the forums in Britain that a well-known and respected uh, amateur astronomer, one of the moderators, was telling that the doctor has recommended to him don't go outside for observing and don't expose yourself to catch cold. And the reason is that when you go outside to visual observation, you get exposed to the cold. If you're not covering yourself, you may catch flu or cold. You may get a sore throat even. And you will not know eventually, do you have a COVID-19 or you're just having a flu. The systems of the, you know, public health are under pressure. Anybody who catches cold will be another, you know, another pressure on them just to cope with ignoring the, then this will be less, less, you know, resources available for people who really have the COVID-19, the dangerous cases. So that means you will not get the care that you need. And eventually, if you have the COVID-19, if you have been exposed to it, you will be at a higher risk. Most of the astronomers are older people, visual observers. Young ones are mostly astrophotographers. This guy was selling his expensive, you know, expensive eyepieces, Ethers 21 millimeter, Ethers uh, 13 millimeter. He was selling it at a very, you know, reasonable half price almost, or a little bit even cheaper than half price. Just because the doctor told him that you should not expose yourself. And he was selling this into found uh, a remote uh, kind of observing astrophotography uh, tools for himself. I think that's true. All of us should do this. Don't expose yourself to the outdoors if you can. Keep warm if you don't really want to, you know, change your habits of, of, of visual observation or anything. Get one of these jackets that the motorbike riders use, the heated ones. I got one. If you can afford it, get one. If you cannot afford it, really wrap yourself, wear completely, you know. Even a face mask keeps you warm, keeps your mouth warm mouth area you will not be affected be very careful you can observe from indoors I do easily from indoors and the, the change is is very minuscule at the same time uh, you will enjoy more because you're indoors you're warm you can just get a coffee for yourself you can get a glass of milk hot milk chocolate whatever you like toilet is available for you you don't need to expose yourself to the damp the equipment will be also good because they're all indoors they don't get damp they don't get you know moist they don't get fungi in them eventually so you will do best service to yourself by not exposing yourself to the outside elements keep safe clear skies. Stay safe. Uh, tonight outside is very cold. This is the telescope setup I'm using. It's a Bushnell Voyager with a 40 millimeter eyepiece of the SLV, uh, Vixen SLV. Is it SLV? Yes, I think this is SLV. Let me just make sure. NLV, yes. And I'm looking at the M42 Nebula. I saw the plates. I'm looking at the moon at the same time. Uh, I'm doing all of this from behind the double glaze. Not particularly very clean. Of course, the flash uh, shows every detail, every blemish, but. Uh, when you look with the telescope, it's quite clean. And um, let me see what what we can see. I'm trying to use a um, camera app, which has actually makes this camera to pushes to the limits of it for video and uh, uh, still photos. Let's see how it. It may introduce a lot of uh, noise, but anyway, that's it. Oh, it is such a pleasant experience. Uh, being indoors, warm at the same time, everything visible. I can look at the moon, slightly not very falling, snapping into focus, but is is above average, the image quality. Uh, 
the Milky Way and looking at the stars, plates and the uh, Hades and the Aldebaran and all the star fields around the uh, Orion constellation are beautiful, amazing in this Boschnal Voyager. And I'm really enjoying tonight's observations from indoors, from inside the room. And I cannot believe I'm looking at this, such a uh, setup with so, such a variety of uh, eyepieces from inside the room. I am sitting on the floor, and this is the telescope I'm using, and this is the eyepieces I'm using. And the moon is comfortable. Uh, even I can go to use the Nagler's original 7mm one. <laughs> and uh, Vixen SLV 5mm. The best view, of course, comes with the uh, Nirvana. So I'm quite pleased, actually, with this setup. Indoor astronomy is the way to go, it seems. And uh, I have a set of eyepieces here, many eyepieces. 40mm, 80mm, 7mm Nagler. And this is a original eyepiece that I used here. I have another eyepiece. This is a 5mm SLV. I couldn't take with this one, but anyway, I mean, capture a video. But I will try probably again. Of course, I'm sitting uh, on a chair, putting my feet on a little table, and uh, I'm in my sleeping garment, <laughs> and I'm really enjoying this. Such a beautiful experience. Oh, and I'm leaning back. I've never done like this. I'm leaning back on a chair. My back has a support also, so really nice. Good back support. And my feet is up. Oh, the only thing missing is the coffee. I should go and bring a, a cup of coffee. The dark is a bit dangerous. It may fall on my eye pieces. <laughs> but anyway, nice. This is a planet Venus. Well, I say this has the one of the sturdiest images I've seen of Venus. This camera probe has all oh, the atmosphere is good, but it's a gibbous phase anyway. <laughs> 